Have you noticed the incredible reduction in the number of insects and birds in the world around you? Those of us who are on the older side, <clears throat> you know who you are, we remember growing up in a world that was full of insects and lots of, lots of birds, lots of natural wildlife. I don't know if you rem remember as a kid going out even in a, in, a, in a suburb area on a summer evening and you would hear all kinds of locusts and crickets and singing insects and, and, and birds and much more. It was just full of life. And now you step outside, the world is missing honeybees and it's missing bumblebees. I remember seeing bumblebees all the time when I was a kid. Today, not so much. You don't see as many insects. And what's going on with this? Well, the answer is this has been scientifically studied. We covered a, a study, I think it was carried out in Europe, that showed something like an 80% drop in the insect biomass over the last, I think it was 10 or 15 years. And that is alarming. 80% drop in insect biomass. The world is dying, basically. The, maybe that should be the title of this podcast. The world is dying, and it's dying because of the chemical pesticides that are used in modern agriculture, where they spray neonicotinoids and uh, other insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, glyphosate, you know, atrazine, all kinds of things, fungicides. They're spraying all the food crops all the time, and then ranchers are even spraying fields with more chemicals and weed killers to, to kill off weeds and grow hay for cows, typically. And there's so much spraying being done of, of chemicals everywhere that, of course, pollinators and honeybees are collapsing. You've heard about this. It's called colony collapse disorder. It's a massive collapse of honeybees. But it's not just honeybees. This is the, the thing. Butterflies are collapsing. Insects are collapsing. Um, I, I suppose there would be flies and other types of insects, maybe even fruit flies, I don't know. But the insect population is collapsing. And that has a direct impact because birds rely on insects for their food. In many cases, you know, it's a whole ecosystem. It's a food web. And so when the insects decline, then you get losses in bird populations. And then you get losses in uh, forest diversity. And when you don't have as many birds, you don't have the spreading of as many seeds. And you don't have as many insects, you don't have the pollination of wild plants. So then you get a, a, a collapse in the, the, the botany side of the food web and the ecosystem. And this is what's happening now worldwide. Because humankind is, as I've said before, a suicide cult. Humanity doesn't want to live. Humanity has decided to, to murder itself and the planet at the same time and to do it with chemicals. And by the way, I'm not buying the global warming garbage. The planet is not being killed by global warming. The planet is being killed by chemicals. Pesticides, herbicides, whatever they're spraying in the atmosphere too on top of that. That's what's killing the planet. It's in the food supply. It's collapsing the pollinators. It's in the water. It's in the rivers and streams. It's in the oceans. The oceans are dead zones where human impacted rivers empty into the ocean. Dead zones. And that's not caused by climate change. It's caused by chemical pollution and agricultural runoff. The real threat to this planet is chemical pollution. And that has not stopped. And where are all the, the, where's all the progressives and liberals? Why aren't they talking about chemical pollution? No, they're talking about climate change all the time. You have to stop burning fossil fuels. No, I say you have to stop poisoning the food supply. You have to stop spraying chemicals on everything because that's what's killing us. I mean, that's what's murdering the food web, the food ecosystem. So it's only a matter of time, by the way, before, well, actually, we're already starting to see the collapse of the food supply for us. Have you noticed over the past few years how much food prices have gone up? That's because we're having food wipeouts and the collapse of various crops. We are in really a desperate crisis right now globally because of the loss of pollinators and the mass chemical poisoning of our world, our food supply, and our fellow human beings. We're in a crisis, but it's a crisis that almost no one talks about. It's a massive cover-up. 
the media is complicit in covering this up. The media rarely talks about the deadly dangers of pesticides and herbicides. They don't talk about why GMOs are so dangerous for the planet, why glyphosate is such a deadly toxin. They don't talk about that. They want you to think that, no, the only problem in the world is climate change. But don't worry, eat more chemicals. Those are good for you, they say. It's good for you. Take more vaccines, more chemicals, more mercury, more formaldehyde injected into your kid's body. That must be good for them, according to the media. That's how insane they are. But what's really murdering us is the chemicals that are collapsing the insects. I want you to take notice. Walk in a park. Walk in a neighborhood where there's some grass and trees. And I want you to compare that to what you recall from your own childhood. Go back to a summer when you were 12 or 15 or whatever. Go back and remember. Think about the honeybees and the flying ants and the bumblebees and the locusts and the crickets and everything. Think about that. Go back and access that memory. And now compare that to what you experience today. You will probably see or, or recognize a massive difference, perhaps an 80% difference or 90% drop off. The insects are missing. This is a red flag warning sign about what's coming, the collapse of sustainable life on our planet. And this is being done deliberately, by the way. There are anti-human forces at work, and they run some of the most powerful corporations that are involved in the mass poisoning of the planet. This is not a coincidence. This is not just an oversight. This is deliberate. Glyphosate was created because it is like VX nerve gas for plants. VX nerve gas is one of the most deadly molecules that has ever been discovered or created. And glyphosate is just like VX nerve gas in many ways at a molecular level. And it is toxic to all forms of life, not just certain plants and weeds. It is toxic to all forms of life in different, different ways. So we are being mass poisoned under a chemical attack. We are all under a chemical attack. The agricultural industry is waging chemical warfare on humanity and on our world right now. It is happening every day. And you, every time you go out and eat conventional food, you are, in fact, in essence, volunteering to be in, in the weapons path. You are, you are consuming chemical weapons that will lead to cancer and die-offs and infertility and ecological collapse and so on. So it's not just the insects and the birds, it's also you, it's the people. We are the ultimate targets of the chemical weapons war that's being waged on our world. And it's being waged by companies like Bayer that now owns Monsanto that has been pushing glyphosate for decades. So get ready, folks. Check out my websites, glyphosate.news. We also run pesticides.news, which has some overlap there, but it's easier for people to spell. Pesticides.news. Or if you really uh, want a short <laughs> word, just go to food.news. Food .news. And listen to my podcast at real.video. My channel is HR Report. So that's real.video, and the channel name is HR Report. Thanks for listening. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.